All right, what is a short squeeze? And did anybody see what went on with GameStop today, boy? GameStop went up a thousand percent within a month. Let's get into the video. I am the Money Coach. If you're new here, I started this channel, the Money Talk Show TV, baby. Appreciate y'all for joining in to help encourage and motivate all new investors, baby. So, you know what I'm saying? Try to do my thing on the investing side, you know? Let's get into the video, baby. Today's video go give you, you know what I'm saying, what's going on with GameStop. You know, give you some news about GameStop, what's going on with it today. And we're going to talk about what is a short squeeze. What is a short squeeze? Okay, baby, a short squeeze occurs when a stock or other assets jump sharply higher, forcing traders who had bet that its price will fall to buy it in order to forestall even greater losses. Their scramble to buy only adds to the upward pressure on the stock's price. Okay, let's break that down to you. Okay, pretty much it's like the total opposite. OK, you got dudes out there do a short squeeze. You have to actually go to a broker. You know what I'm saying? You go to a broker and that broker might go with 10, you know, what I'm saying stocks, for example. Say that broker got 10 stocks, a game stop. Right. OK, so he go to the broker and say, look here, I need you to sell. 20 or 10 shares a game stop at $10 hoping that the price go down to nine dollars and make one dollar profit you know what i'm saying or have how many shares okay so that's what they did everybody you know what i'm saying a lot of people went out there and what it, the deal with the short squeeze is you sell first then you buy that's the big difference you know you're like well how you sell then you buy because they go to a broker baby the broker got that power to sell to say, hey, I'm a broker, you know what I'm saying? I, my client, he's, I'm charging him a certain fee. He finna give me, you know what I'm saying, walk the bail money to short squeeze. He believe that GameStop gonna go down. So he telling he play one me to place the bet for him. Bam, you know what I'm saying? I want 20 GameStops going down. Now, what happened and what I believe happened was, it was a lot of people. Now, usually when that happens, usually, they're doing that. The broker would do his, you know what I'm saying, take his client's order for that GameStop. You know, he'll put in 20 orders and that GameStop go down to $9. He will pretty much buy back in. You know what I'm saying? You sell first and you buy for a short squeeze and you make your profit from there. Okay. From the difference on how low the price went down. And then he'll give a boy his fee. He need to pay him minus his cut and do that. But, uh, but some of them brokers out there now he say you got one dude he only got 20 shares remember remember that 20 shares i was talking about 20 shares of gamestop say he only got those 20 shares now he got two clients or three two or three clients say the same exact thing but he only got 20 shares so he can only pretty legally do it for that one person with those 20 shares but sometimes people get greedy and they think they know what they think they know so he has sometimes the power and the thing switch up on him where he say, okay, boom, I'm gonna take your 20, do the 20 GameStop for you. Another client come in, you know what? I'm with y'all. I think GameStop might go too. Everybody's so hype. Go ahead, I'm gonna charge you a fee too. I'm gonna go ahead and put 20 down for GameStop. Now he got 40 in. Another client comes in, same deal. Ooh, charge you the fee. Now he got 60 stocks that he didn't sold and put down as a bet that game stock will drop okay now the object of that game is to boom get up out of that guy once the price drop and then you profit your money if they do it right legally if they have the right amount of shares through the broker broker okay but what i believe happened was you had a lot of brokers who was greedy like i said who had less than the shares that they was supposed to bet and they bet it okay and what happened was they did the short squeeze. They thought GameStop was going to go down. GameStop went up. So they said, okay, cool. It's all right. No problem. 
we still gonna go down. They about to go bankrupt. You know what I'm saying? They didn't know they could get some money or they whatever it was. They believed. They insights. They did it again. Bam. Opposite happened. They lost money. So now this broker who had 20 shares originally, he had made 60 bets the first time. Then he doubled up on them. Now he had made 120 bets. Now he probably didn't double up again. But in the meantime, when that double up happens, he goes and calls those clients. Look here, dude, your bet didn't go too right. So you either got to yeah, up that money to pay for those shares that you said because it didn't go right. You need to pay me my money so I can pay and get, keep things flowing. They probably did that right the first time and they bet it again. And it didn't go right the first time, but that stock went so high up, which made STEM owing so much money. So the short squeezes had to, long story short, baby, the short squeezes had to pay out billions of dollars. There's a lot of people who lost billions of dollars today, yesterday, this week on GameStop trying to play the game, baby. And what happened was when, when you do those shares, he banned, he buying 60, like I said, for those three clients. When, when you do that and you do it again, you got to think you actually selling, but you're still buying at the end. So when you're selling, you're buying as you got so many people doing that. You got so many brokers, so many dudes that they know the game's not going to go down. So now you got an epidemic of so many shares that's being bought, which automatically brings the price up. So they priced them went up, they losing money and they lost so much money. So GameStop went from $20, homeboy. GameStop was $20, I believe, at the beginning of this year or the end of last year to 200 and something dollars. Come on, man. And one day it, it, it shot up a hundred and something percent. It's crazy. So them dudes lost some money. So GameStop right now is very speculative, okay? Cause something happened. Right now, they got people, you know what I'm saying, trying to look into it. It did have a little glitch. It was doing it so bad. The bets were so many going on. Some, excuse me. There were so many bets going on. The volume was so high that it shut down the stock market, baby, temporarily. Baby, the machine went crazy. It was like, oh, 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 oh too many bets. Oh, y'all ain't doing it right. Pow. Shut the stock market down for a second. Now, the dimensions dropped down too, you know what I'm saying, for a whole quick second. But if you was in the stock market, you was watching it. Nano Dimensions was at $16, $17. It went straight down to $14.23, baby. And when it went down to $14.23, I caught me some at $14.50, baby, because I was watching it. That's what you do, okay? When it dropped down like that, and what it do? It right back up, baby. Nano, Nano Dimensions went up to $15, $16, and going to be back up to $17, $18 again, baby. Mm. Okay? And then you got your boy Elon Musk, okay? Told you news runs the stock market. Elon Musk go ahead and go ahead tweet that thing that he did. And when he tweeted it, it jumped the stock up. It got so many people who's Elon Musk fans and Tesla fans who don't even know or don't even care or not invested in GameStop. When they seen that, bam, oh, I'm buying it too. And what it do? Stock went up crazy, baby. Stock went up mad crazy. Okay, I wish I had tried to make some money in it. I tried, but it was so crazy I couldn't even get in. That's how crazy it was. Okay, so GameStop got some things going on right now. It's very volatile, baby. So uh, be safe in that thing. I'm not touching it right now because it, it, it's too much going on. It ain't safe in my blood. I can't. I can't risk my money in something that was twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? A few uh, a few days ago, or a few month a month or two ago. 200 and GameStop ain't made the valuation ain't went up that high. GameStop ain't, ain't bought Apple or no nothing crazy like that. So, no, do your research, baby. Individual investors continue to pile into niche stock market plays on Tuesday, baby, causing a scramble by short seller funds to cover losing bets, as I was explaining in earlier. With companies like GameStop skyrocketing to the fourth straight day, even as others caught up in the buying frenzy, reverse gains, baby. Okay, GameStop gained 92.7 percent at the close of a roller coaster session, baby. Crazy. Essie, okay, which is another company that Elon Musk tweeted and jumped it up. Okay, was up as much as 8.6 percent in GameStop's slipstream, but later reversed its gains. 
and BlackBerry, which advanced to 4.9%. You know what I'm saying? Was another early buying focus in this increasingly influential market, baby. Okay. It's going crazy. All right. All right, GameStop trading could be systematically wrong, baby. State regulator says, okay? So the state regulator went on and let's say something is wrong. It's, it, this is crazy. It's like I said, something's crazy. Something's wrong, okay? The top security regulator in Massachusetts thinks trading in the GameStop, which has been skyrocketing, suggests there is something systematically wrong with the options trading surrounding the stock, baby. So, okay, so like, look here, they finna call the shots. That's why I wanna let you know that if you invested in GameStop, if you made some money, I would, it's not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but I will sell it by that guy, boom, get my money and run, boy. Cause $20 to 200, it's a crazy game, baby, especially with them months. So be blessed to invest yourself. And the money coach, please hit that like button, subscribe, share the video so we can get to it, spread the world. And the word of investing, baby. Be blessed investing yourself from the money coaching.